Hi everyone, I just got back from an amazing trip to Alaska and I'm so excited to share that experience with all of you. But the real question is, who is ready to see some baby seals? Okay, so there are no baby seals yet and I do apologize for that, but I pinky promise that there will be baby seals in this video. I first wanted to give some background to my trip to Alaska and tell you a little bit about it. So I'll start with a man named Steve Spangler. You can Google his name, he's very Googleable. He is a science teacher, educator, and science communicator that is all about teaching science teachers how to get their students engaged in the classroom. He's like the OG Diet Coke and Mentos guy and has all sorts of really cool of experiments of his own and activities of his own on his YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and social media content such as that. My mom, who is a science teacher, was really involved with his product line company that created toys for science classrooms and started attending some of his science teacher workshops and then started dragging her family, us, to those workshops as well because they weren't just sitting in a conference room for three straight days listening to somebody talk and talk and talk, they involved fun activities and basically became our family vacations. And so this trip to Alaska and getting to learn all about the natural history and science of Alaska was one of those trips. Uh, we've gone to Alaska with other trips with him on a cruise, which we're actually doing in a couple weeks again. <laughs> uh, been to Colorado with him and even our trip to Iceland was actually a science teacher workshop. They are so much fun. <laughs> yeah, that's my family. We go on vacation to science teacher workshops because we just want to do all the science stuff. So this trip to Alaska started out in Juneau, the capital of Alaska, which fun fact is the only capital, state capital to not be accessible by car. You have to take a boat or a plane to get there. So we flew into Juneau and on our first day, we took a wonderful boat trip of something called Tracy Arm Fjord. This was an all day boat trip that had us leaving from Juneau and sailing south down into the fjord. If you're unfamiliar with the term fjord, this is just a narrow ocean inlet that is surrounded by cliffs or mountains on either side that has been carved out by a glacier or a giant moving body of ice. And as the glacier melted and receded backwards up into the mountains and cliffs, it left a deep groove in the ocean or in the ground that can now be filled up with water. And this just offered spectacular sights from literally every angle. There is so much to look at from the forest to the scrub to that beautiful green water because we had an absolutely clear day. There's even amazing waterfalls that we got close enough to on the boat that we could we were getting splashed by the waterfall. Um, all formed by this glacier. And as we continued through the fjord towards the end, towards South Sawyer Glacier at the very end, we started to see a lot more icebergs and we started to see the water change from beautiful green to a muddy brown due to all the glacial mud. And then finally we got our first glimpse of baby seals. I know, you finally got to see a baby seal and then immediately you gotta look at my face again. So sorry about that. But Tracy Arm Fjord is actually a very popular place for harbor seals to come and give birth to their young. And this is because there's a lot of icebergs floating around coming off of the glacier, and this lets the seals give birth on the iceberg and also give the baby seals and the moms a place to rest until they're big enough and learn more about how to swim out in the ocean. It also offers a particularly nice protection from killer whales because killer whales love baby seals. They're like little popcorn shrimps for the baby seals. Um, and you know, baby seals and their moms don't really wanna get eaten by killer whales. So they go up into the fjord surrounded by icebergs because in those icebergs, the killer whales can't use their echolocation. That is their sonar-like ability to ping out a sound and get the sound to come back. And that's how the killer whales know how to get around. And in all of those icebergs, mess with the echolocation. So the killer whales never go up into the fjord because it can't really get around. And the water visibility is also reduced due to all of that glacial silt that turned the water a muddy brown. So not only is there plenty of rest and relaxation for those seals upon those icebergs, but also protection from one of their fiercest predators, the killer whale. Pretty smart of the seals, huh? After our all day boat tour to Tracy Arm Fjord, we weren't actually done traveling. So our final destination for the trip wasn't Juneau, Alaska but actually a tiny community of about 600 people called Gustavus, Alaska, located right next to Glacier Bay National Park. So our next step was to go back to the airport and take a chartered plane to Gustavus. Um, 
yeah, that was an experience that I completed and I can't say I necessarily want to do again because it was interesting. There were wonderful views as you can see from this footage. But also at some point we turned through the mountains, the plane tilted and an alarm went off. And at that point I went, okay, I don't need to do this again. This is a tiny plane and I'm scared. <laughs> but it was a interesting experience. I'm glad I did it. Don't know if I would seek it out in the future. Um, but it did offer beautiful views of Alaska and it was really cool as we were landing. You could see actually the the plane shadow and I thought that was that was interesting. So thus ends just the first day of my Alaska trip, which was already amazing. And here are some pictures of some of the whales we saw that day. I didn't get any footage of them um, or any pictures because they were super far away and I don't have a good enough camera lens for that. And some people in our group did, so I let them take the pictures for me. So here's the pictures of some beautiful humpback whales. There will be more to come next Friday. Stay tuned for part two of this adventure with a lot more whale footage because I love whales and they were the best part of the trip even though the baby seals are a close second. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it all with your friends. Hope you enjoyed this glimpse into Alaska wildlife and again join me next Friday for part two of this Alaskan adventure. Keep it sciencey!